time for the main event of the evening. Please welcome, making his way to the NFA cage, Willie Sears. All I gotta say about Willie is he started his fighting career before any of us three. Yeah, yeah you were talking about, when did he start it? It was uh, 05 or 06, I think it might have been 06. Yeah, back in 2006 he started fighting. Longer than the iPhone has been out, that's insane. <laughs> with that encyclopedia again. Yeah. <laughs> 37 years old, Willie Sears, comes in, he's one of one, freestyle, training out of presidential fitness. He thinks the advantage he'll have here is his striking over Tristan, and determination, staying calm. Keep it standing, obviously, you do not want to get in a grappling exchange with Tristan, and he just thinks that his matching is what's gonna set it apart, that Tristan won't be able to, to be able to keep up with it, but he's been working on his ground in anticipation for this, as he should have. Yeah, and then Willie Sears has a little bit of pro experience, one and one with the record. Not a bad record, obviously 500 record coming in. I don't know how many amateur fights he has, but I think this, you know, the five minute rounds is a big deal. When you first make your pro debut and you're not really sure how to, excuse me, how to pace yourself, the training room is one thing, the cage is the other. For the NFA cage, Tristan Overvin. Here comes Tristan making the walk for his pro debut. He is a Pedigo submission fighting purple belt. He won Noki Pan Ams as a blue belt last year. And he cross travels to train at St. Charles MMA, one of their affiliates there. And he's got really heavy wrestling, very adept grappler. And the only thing he said his keys to victory was smash. I mean, that's about his style too. He's a very tough fighter as well that, uh, as you guys saw on the highlights when he threw up that triangle he was losing that fight and he threw up that triangle at the end and got got an amazing victory yeah his debut was insane because like i think he took it even on short notice and then he just pulled that off right at the end of the fight so one, one thing i do have to point out we saw the highlight here of tristan O'Brien. he looked like he was about a 155er now he's clearly light heavyweight he's grown that just shows you you know, how long he's been here with NFA, he's grown into his body and clearly found uh, the key to his success is eating a little bit more and maybe doing some bench presses. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, it is now time for the main event of the evening. This bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the NFA light heavyweight division brought to you tonight by Brad Carey Realtor. If you're in the market to buy or sell your home, Brad Carey is your guy. And now, for all those watching tonight on NemesisFightingAlliance.com and for those here in St. Charles, Missouri, are you ready for war? <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This freestyle fighter stands six foot one, weighed in 205.8 pounds. He holds a professional record, one win, one defeat. That win coming by way of knockout. Representing presidential fitness and fighting out of Mount Sterling, Illinois, Willie Sears. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, is a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu specialist standing six foot tall, weighing in 204.5 pounds. Tonight, he is making his professional debut. Representing Pedigo Submission Fighting and St. Charles MMA Fighting out of Effingham, Illinois, Tristan Overby. Your referee in charge of the main event, Tim Francis. All right, gentlemen, we went over everything in the back. I expect a good, clean fight at all times. Obey my command at all times. Touch him up and go back to the corner. I want to point out I appreciate the placement of Daisy Fresh on Tristan Shorts. Yeah. <laughs> Tristan said his stand-up is a tad better than the last time we saw him. I, 
I honestly see him still looking to smash, like he said, impose his will. If that's where your advantage is, if that's your bread and butter, that's what you're going to go to. Yeah, Tristan taking the center of that cage. Hits Ooh. a clean right hand on Willie Sears. Willie took it, though. But he's going right for that takedown. Willie's not going down without a fight, though. Nice takedown nice. defense right nice. there. Nope. But Willie ends up getting a little bitty toss on his, on his butt there. Nice and gentle, to be honest. Yeah. But see, this is Tristan's world. Jordan, you know, mentioned his accolades oh, good earlier. Elbows, good and elbows. now he gets, he's excited for those yeah. elbows, folks. Yeah, because he ends up in that position a lot. Nope. Trying to slide the hook in on the cage is difficult. Yeah, to rush it. Ooh. Hard, hard, hard. These are solid shots by Tristan Overy. Willie rolling, trying to roll out of it right in the mount. That's definitely not good. We can hear those through the headset. Tristan coming down with a couple elbows, trying to find the shot. Looks like he's gonna roll, I thought an arm bar was coming. Trying to get both those hooks in, gonna stretch him out. And, uh, it's a couple oh, solid shots. Flattened. This could be it, guys. Yeah, this could be it. This is the be I think this will be the beginning of the end. Tristan doing a good job of taking this time. Couple hammer fists, trying to find shots. Willie's covering up. He's, he's covering, just not, but he's not in, trying to get out, though. He's just not intelligently yeah. defending himself. Looks to That's his corner be before unloading. Yeah, this fight's about over. Let's that go. I think he lets it go to try to make to to try to get a, a cleaner finish. Because none of those shots were those actually aren't, those aren't good getting through. through. You know, yeah. he was blocking them. There's a hammer fist on the that temple. One got See, right here, I'd like to see Tristan reach back and uh, throw that knee right to the body. Well, he's doing decent defense, but uh, he's not trying to get out, though. That's the issue. So at some point, the ref has to decide. Yeah, it's about over. Yeah, yeah, fight's over. Yeah. Tristan over wins his debut. Great yeah. showing by Tristan Overig. That was a quick pummeling. I think, you know, I don't think there was a lot of shots that landed except for kind of, you know, kind of on the ears and on the temples and stuff like that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You guys had a lot to say about me last fight. You got something to say now? No, you did great. You did great last fight. Yeah. <laughs> you did great last fight, too. <laughs> I, I, well, he's clearly talking to you, too. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, we can talk about it afterwards if he wants. Yeah. <laughs> Pro debut, already getting a... Uh, a little chatter going. I guess yeah. so. I'll come out of retirement for him. Like, <laughs> 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 little kid, let me show you who daddy is. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Adam. <laughs> I thought he looked good last fight and this one. I, I just thought too. the one was so close. I thought the first two rounds and the last one. I didn't know if he won. It was the third one. He cleanly won. Yes. Yeah, that third round could have been a 10 8. But yeah. he didn't even go to decision here. Humbled no. it. This was a dominant performance. You can't take nothing away from the guy. No. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tim Francis calls a stop in this fight. One minute, 57 seconds in the very first round, declaring your winner by TKO, Tristan. Congratulations, Tristan. Uh, man, coming out here with your pro debut, making it, getting a victory, it's gotta feel great. How you feeling? I feel good. Not tired. Not tired. Uh, I feel good. Absolutely. Uh, man, a few words, man. You, you let all your talking, you know, happen inside the cage. It was just dominance from the from the get-go. Uh, anything else you'd like to say out here tonight? Uh, uh, thanks, Willie, for taking the fight. A lot of people wouldn't take it, so hats off to him. And then I want to call out PFL, Bellator, and UFC to take a look at me. I'm on the radar, and I'm here. We're definitely on the radar, well, man. You're definitely a prospect in this area. We're looking forward to the rest of your career, man. We'll see you. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time for Tristan Overby.